a couple of days ago, I got tagged in a Facebook post uh, with a guy that got really stuck uh, in a trail system nearby to me. Uh, since then, we've had over 200 millimetres, nearly 300 millimetres of rain. Uh, so that bike will be well and truly bogged down. So I'm going to take my 890, uh, head up into the hills, and uh, see if I can get this bike out of there, or get it to a point where this guy can retrieve it. I really like watching Matt's off-road recovery on YouTube, so this is Virtue's off-road recovery. I've never seen this much water running out of these hills. It is wet, bro. Supposed to be riding up a river. Supposed to be a track. tough track but it's rocky ground it's hard, it's hard ground it's firm ground as soon as you go over the top of the hill and start dropping down the other side it just turns into super soft logging clay and that'll be where old mate the arsenal is hanging out i reckon bike's not far from here so I'm gonna leave my bike here my 890 here and do some walking because I don't want to actually no I can go down there I mean a chicken come on chicken gather out my tools that I bought to get this bike out carry everything down the first time I don't need the bike lock just yet gonna need the spade maybe need the saw what else we got uh, gonna need the rope the rope the rope the rope bike pump we can leave here tools we can leave here let's take the rope Rope, saw, spade, energy, a little bit of talent, we should be good. Time to go hiking. Oh, Dara! Nope, I've forgotten them. Dara! Nope, I've forgotten an important thing. The keys to the motorbike. <laughs> that would have been a muck up. You forgot the keys, Christopher. Where is the spike? I thought it was going to be here. But, ah, there it is. One. Oh, properly stuck DR650. <laughs> Oh my god, if it wasn't stuck before all the rain it is now, that's going to take some getting out. Far out. Filthy and dirty and wet. Alright, here's the plan. I'm going to try and dig it out as much as I can. 
get it free. If I can get it up onto where I'm standing here, I'll try and get it turned around. Get it fired up and right up there, I hope. But it's gonna take a bit of doing. She's pretty thoroughly wedged in there. And that will be, I would imagine, yep, porridge. Lovely. That there, is that gonna work? Yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, you big heavy hooker. That's good. This would be a lot easier if I was a lot stronger. Oh my god, this is so easy. Come on! That's proven to be a bit hard work, so might try and get it more clever on it. Try and use my rope. Set, hopefully. Hopefully going to stop the front before I'm back down. And you start to work on the back. Take that out. If this was Matt's off-road recovery, he'd have some clever winch technique. But I'm not Matt, and I'm not clever. So I'm going to try and lift it. Oh no, she's not coming. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I'm not strong enough to lift it up out of there. That's just not happening. I might try just trying to spin the back wheel of it, try and break that suction. Just to see what that does. They seem to have a choke or what? And...
putter. really lucky you might have broken the suction enough that I can actually lift it. But it doesn't make a deal as it could be any lighter. There we go. I reckon I might be able to get that now. There we go. Yoo-hoo! I know it's not out but it feels that feels good. That's progress. She's up and out of the crap. That's the first job done. All right, so now the problem is it's out of the hole, but it's pointing the wrong way. And I want it to be able to turn this thing around without ending up back in there. If this is my KTM Enduro bike, I'd just stand it up in the back wheel and spin it around. But it is not a KTM Enduro bike. Be a little careful on this one. Next moment determines how much more work I'm going to have to do. If it goes up here, that's good. If it doesn't, we're winching. Second gear, full noise. Hopefully, there's some traction in here. Oh, yeah, All right, I'll just keep going. Oh, it's horrible. Bad call. Oh no! Poxy thing. Frickin' chains come off. God damn it. That's free running, that's not so bad. Just got flicked off on that rock there, I reckon. Bad bike. Naughty bike. That's got it. There we go. We're back in business. reasonably well. We've got the bike stashed inside this old shed here, all locked up safely so that guy can come pick it up later on. And it's seven o'clock and it's home time. 
Um, if you know where this area is, I'm not going to say where it is because I don't want everyone coming here. Don't go past this mill on an adventure bike. It won't end well for you. Uh, it's a nice ride up to here. It's quite a challenging ride up to here. This is a really good place to turn around, I reckon. But what, what would I know? Well, this is definitely less than ideal. On the way out, I took a wrong line. Now I'm completely freaking stuck. Get this thing out of here now. There's no decent trees to winch off. There must be a hollow hole in there. I put my camera down and start working on getting this thing out of here. Like, you know the expression, uh, no good deed goes unpunished? I think that was just one of those. <laughs> Home time now. Careful.